subject for today. We are um, really hopeful about the Rhode Island League, so we'll follow up with that in the morning. Please give me a call back at the precinct before 10. I'll be here. Do you want to do this today, hon? You know, I was reading about this new support group they're forming. Do you think you might be interested? What the hell are you doing? Excuse me? That's a very important paper you're covering up. These are for our band. We've got a gig next weekend. I don't care. Take them down. Lady, we've seen your papers all over town. Don't you think it's about time you give it up anyway? What the hell did you just say? You don't know anything! And you don't know my Maggie! I'll never give up on my daughter! Paula, what the hell's gotten into you? Maybe those kids were right. We've been putting these things up for nearly two years now. Don't you think it might be time to move on? Carl, are you just gonna stand here and let her say those things? You know what? Fuck you both! Maggie is out there, she's alive, and someone has seen her. our Denny almost five years ago. So I know the pain you're feeling. Six months I, I spent clinging to whatever hope I could find. I, it almost consumed my life. And Trudy, Trudy was my rock. She was feeling the same pain that I was. She was alone. Well, we, we were alone. So I decided right then that I had to, had to make a change. I mean, I, I will always love Denny. I will never forget him, never. But I needed to be there for Trudy. You'll never give up on that little girl. But the question is, is it worth losing everything else? Paula? It's Ted. Can you please open the door? Paula? Paula? Paula. The state patrol was out by Thomas Pond. Paula, they... No. No. 
They found a body. No! No! I am so sorry. The answer is no!